Hey everybody, thanks for clicking. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different than my normal content, but I think it's important. I was recently preparing to vote and I realized how long it was taking me to become somewhat knowledgeable on all of these California propositions. So I thought, why not put together a short explainer video? All right, let's get into it. So Prop 14, it authorizes 5.5 billion in state bonds for stem cell research and other medical research, as well as training, research facility and construction costs and administrative costs. It specifically dedicates 1.5 billion to brain related diseases and requires that no more than seven and a half percent of funding goes towards admin costs. So in 2014, voters approved Proposition 71, which created the California Institute for Regenerative Medicine or CIRM. It issued three billion in bonds to finance CIRM and it established a state constitutional right to conduct stem cell research. So in a sense, this new proposition is going to refund and further that original proposition. So here's what a yes voter might say. They might say that nearly half of all California families include a child or an adult with a medical condition that could benefit from stem cell research. These additional funds would further the development and cures and treatments of chronic and life-threatening diseases like cancer, Alzheimer's, heart disease, diabetes, and more. Economic activity and jobs would be generated by this funding, which will go to contribute to California's economic recovery. So a no voter, they might say, we simply cannot afford the 5.5 billion this proposition requests. The Institute hasn't produced the kind of life-saving treatments that they originally promised. Private investors and individual companies could do a better job at this. Also, they might say the Institute is funded by public money, but does not technically have any legislative oversight. So what does a yes vote do? A yes vote supports issuing 5.5 billion of bonds for the state stem cell research institution. What does a no vote do? It opposes issuing the 5.5 billion in bonds for the state stem cell research institute. Here are the individuals and groups that support the proposition. Here are the individuals and groups who oppose the proposition. So whether you are yes or no on proposition 14, just go vote. 